Yep, yep, yep. Because you see the car sitting like this. Yeah, we, we, we got a few problems. So what's happening everybody? It's your boy Kenneth Sean with the world famous <laughs> Built versus bought and this is technically the aftermath for Ford takeover part two I don't know if I'm gonna call it this that bit. I don't know if I'm gonna call it that but this is what's going on with the car You all kind of saw what happened on the first video Showed you all what happened at Ford takeover Did a dyno pull we recognized we had a few issues and so I'm gonna talk about what got rectified and where we're at right now. Make sure you go to builtversusbought.com to get your Fox body. It's greater than everybody's shirt. Your Built versus Bought shirt. They are on sale this week right now. Make sure you go to builtversusbought.com to get your shirts while they're on sale. No complaint about the price. It's cheap this week. Make sure you get it right now. Oh, these injectors were changed out, so can't really tell. Obviously, it's hard to see injectors. Ain't that right, love? And do we have this real car? Yeah, we just yeah. a real car. But it's hard to see the injectors, but those are Bosch 210s. So those were uh, changed out. And the other thing that we ended up recognizing or found out, um, this wasn't um, wired properly. So we got the IAC to work, all right? so. Injectors have changed. We got the high at to work. What we ended up finding out is that after it was put on the dyno, uh, we had a. Um, now I started running out of fuel pump. Now that was technically a warning. I knew that when we did the injectors, it was going to be something else, and I kind of assumed, you know what? They probably gonna tell me the fuel pump is something wrong with it, and uh, yeah, not only was something wrong with it, but it ended up going out. So right now, I'm gonna show you all a clip of this fuel tank and pump that I had in this car right here. So if you all watched the last video um, that I had where I was showing you all this behind bars race car powder coated tank, I had some much taller um, fittings on here. Well, what I went and did was I got, you know, I kind of thought about it. I'm like, man, I don't know. I think those fittings were too tall. So I went and got some 90 degree angle fittings um, as you can see here. And on the feed is obviously a uh, it's a 10 and on a return it's an 8 and so yeah I am actually ready um, I gotta get the lines and stuff installed on here as well uh, which is once my buddy George comes through we'll get those together but I'm ready to actually install it in the car I'm gonna pull this tank out of the car and if you all watched the uh, last last video you saw that I have another car I'm gonna put the tank from this car into the new car and then kind of go from there but yeah this thing this big boy is ready uh to do some some serious work and some serious damage so i believe that that will work outside of the other fittings that i had so this tank supposedly has a magnet fuel 750 supposedly the problem is that the mistake that i made and look i'm trying to have you all learn from my mistakes and this is why i put this stuff out here but i the, the source that i got it from i just trusted that took it hooked it up and everything was running fine for a while obviously but as i started to endeavor and in jumping into more horsepower you know stuff happens and so with this now um i had some issues with this tank um and then i had some i ain't even i ain't gonna lie i had a little issue with the overflow um starting to leak and so with that i decided that i'm gonna go fully external with this and not do um another internal pump so long story short I just ordered a behind bars race car. I actually ordered it two weeks ago. It's going to take, they have to make it. Um, it's not ready. So it's going to take a couple more weeks or whatever, however long that's going to take. And we're going to put another Magna Fuel 750. Everybody was telling me, man, go with the uh, air motive brushless system. But look, 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 look. I am not chasing horsepower like that no more. Like, like straight up. Like, I'm not about to put a $1,500 pump on this right now for something that I barely drive. Like, I drive it, but I don't drive it like that. So... We got to put that on there. Um, the car hit the numbers that it that it hit some decent numbers, but like I said, at that high boost level, it just it just wasn't uh, supportive. 
fuel pump wasn't supportive so we're gonna get that taken care of get that squared away i got a new tank it'll be all external that'll solve all my sump issues when gas is moving around or whatever i won't have that problem no more for you all that don't know sometimes when you don't have like the sump man and gas move around sometimes air can get in the lines had that problem a couple times don't want to have the other thing is this is going to be so this car is very dirty right now but the other thing is this is going to get removed all right and we are going to right now i have a 3625 i have a 375 uh, pulley that i'm gonna put back on there this is putting out too much boost at this point it's putting out about uh 25 pounds of boosts and that's a little bit too high i think all i want to be at is about 23 in or 23 and a half one, one of the other things that was solved um i think i still have a video that i'll show you all right here when i started the car up i used to have a problem when i went to the 85 but since the iac works now hey the the car starts up as soon as i cut the key on i'll insert that right here if it works thing is too and with with the idle air control being adjusted i was able to run my ac um the way that i wanted to but i also i found out i have another issue and this is what happens when you add stuff later you know this is just a, this is just what happens like so because of my setup um and because of how everything is set up i have to i don't have enough airflow coming through here when it gets very very hot and so the fans and everything work but if i get in traffic and turn this air on the car tends to go up a little bit higher than, than 215 and i i don't need that problem and so um i got the contour fans on here you know it's a lot of things we could we could take into consideration but i'm not trying to really fix all that right now like ah, uh, the car has always ran at great temperatures without the ac but this is when it's like 95 degrees outside and i'm in traffic in georgia heat so that means this is very very hot and so what am i gonna do with that right now i'm not gonna worry about it because i'm tired of like i said putting more money more time more energy more resources i'm just trying to get this thing to the point where it starts up it runs it does what it's supposed to do it has the amount of power it has all this other stuff is just non-stop now here's what i want to say to all the critics out there the difference between somebody like myself and other people that you may follow well let me just go here i tell you all a lot of the stuff that happens with my car i even tell you my mistakes i am not claiming to be a certified ASC mechanic neither do i know a lot of stuff if you watch some of my previous videos you've seen i've done a lot of work to this car but i'm also not claiming perfection but i also don't know too many people with fox bodies that don't have issues man so like when you all come over here and tell me man you need to drive the car more you, 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 you don't know what the heck you're doing blah 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 that's cool i would say whatever you want to say but i'm gonna just go here i don't know nobody with a fox body that's doing this level of stuff or let's go here how many terminator swap fox bodies do you know that is being shown on youtube where you don't have the level of resources like some of these coyote swap guys it ain't out here like that so I don't have no problem with sharing my mistakes and the things that, that have not worked out or the things that have flopped. But yeah, have I had issues? Yes. Am I down to the end? Yes, I am. And the lesson I want to teach everybody is, man, don't buy it. Like, I try to stay away from getting used stuff. Like, everything for me moving forward is going to be new. You know, that's number one. Um, number two, everything that is going to be done is going to be done properly by the right people. And I'm going to double check it even myself. Number no, And number three, make a decision in the beginning exactly what you want to do and then go from there man i kept upgrading kept upgrading kept changing kept upgrading it has cost me a lot of time a lot of money and i've lost a lot of money in the process and so i just want to use myself as an example to help you all especially to the subscribers that really really are like out here like really trying to learn stuff but then also that like this channel 
and not the critics. I don't really care. Y'all can say whatever y'all going to say. I'm not even responding to you all no more. It just is what it is. Have, the, have I messed up with this one? Absolutely. Has everything gone the way I wanted to? Absolutely not. Is the car running right now? No, it's not. Can't go nowhere. But I will have it straight and it will be back up and, it, and I will show you all the progress of it. But yes, am I coming down to the end of all of these upgrades? Yes, I am. Like, I don't have the mental capacity to keep putting that level of time and money into this car. There's other things that I got to handle. So just wanted to kind of give you all an overview of that. So do me a favor. If you like this video, make sure you like and subscribe. Make sure you go to BillVersusBought.com. Little baby, say bye to everybody. Bye, everybody. Look at the camera. Say bye to everybody. Bye, everybody. All right. It's your boy, Ken Sean, my daughter. We out.